Mastercam 2020 includes a number of new features and enhancements to 3D mill toolpaths. Equal Scallop and Scallop toolpaths now include the ability to select curves on the toolpath control page. When selected, the toolpath is created outwards using the curves as a starting point. When dragging geometry from one 3D high-speed toolpath operation to another in the Toolpaths Manager, the pop-up menu now displays more options for copied geometry. 3D Blend is a new toolpath that has been added for Mastercam 2020. Blend is based on the Surface Finish Blend toolpath but has been designed to be faster and provide a superior surface finish. Blend also includes benefits such as the use of stock and holder checking. The Blend Toolpath is located in the 3D Toolpath Gallery and is also available to Millturn users. The Equal Scallop and Scallop Toolpaths now support two new strategy options on the Toolpath Control page. When Closed Offsets is selected, the toolpath is created with closed passes that yield a traditional scallop toolpath. Boundary chains, curves, and the Z-depth and angle values on the Steep Shallow page are now used to calculate the toolpath output. Additionally, the machining geometry selected will be used to determine the outer shape of the toolpath. When trimmed offsets is selected, Mastercam drives the toolpath from the selected curve or outer shape of the machining geometry and is then generated across the entire machining geometry shape. The resulting motion is then trimmed to the boundary chains and the angle and z-depth values on the steep shallow page. Include Silhouette Boundary has been added to the toolpath control page for all 3D toolpaths. When this option is selected, Mastercam will use any selected boundary chains along with Projected Boundary Smoothing Tolerance, Contain, and Compensate 2 when generating the silhouette boundary around the selected machining geometry. The Equal Scallop and Hybrid Toolpaths now include additional options for tool containment on the Toolpath Control page. Tool Tip keeps the center of the tool inside the containment boundary. Tool Contact Point keeps the point where the tool contacts the drive geometry inside the containment boundary while allowing the center of the tool to move outside the containment boundary if needed. The Steep Shallow page now allows you to individually choose to use either the minimum, maximum, or both minimum and maximum z-depth values. When using toolpaths such as Waterline, Hybrid, Area Roughing, and Dynamic OptiRough, you now have the option to enable Adjust for Stock to Leave. When the Adjust for Stock to Leave checkbox is selected, any values entered in the Floor Stock column for machining geometry on the Model Geometry page are added to or subtracted from your minimum and maximum z-depths accordingly. If all of your Stock to Leave values are positive values, Mastercam uses the largest value to adjust both the minimum and maximum depth values. If all of your stock to leave values are negative, Mastercam uses the largest value to adjust both the minimum and maximum depth values. If your stock to leave value includes both positive and negative values, Mastercam uses the most positive Z value to adjust the minimum depth, while using the most negative Z value to adjust the maximum depth. For more information on enhancements to mill for Mastercam 2020, be sure to visit whatsnew.mastercam.com.